The Centauro 2 Fire Support Vehicle is a next-generation version of the original Centauro. It has a revised 8x8 chassis and is armed with a more powerful 120mm gun. Also it is better protected and has got a number of other improvements. The Centauro 2 was jointly developed by Iveco and OTO Malara to meet an Italian army requirement. Development commenced in 2010. The first prototype was ready in 2015. It was first publicly revealed in 2016. Italian Army plans to obtain 74 of these new fire support vehicles. Currently Italian Army reportedly operates a total of 300 original Centraro B1 fire support vehicles, armed with a 105mm gun. The Centauro II is intended to carry out tactical reconnaissance, fire support of combat units and territorial defense tasks. It can escort convoys and be used for road patrol missions. Once in service with Italian Army the Centraro II will operate in medium brigades alongside Frecchia infantry fighting vehicles and associated combat vehicles based on Similat 8x8 wheel chassis. This fire support vehicle is one of the most capable in this class. Most other vehicles are limited by their 6x6 chassis and carry smaller 105mm guns. The is a US-built M1128 Striker mobile gun system with 8x8 configuration. However it is also armed with a smaller 105mm gun, as its chassis could not withstand the recoil of the 120mm gun. There are only few other demonstrators, armed with a powerful 120mm gun. The Centauro II provides the same firepower as most modern main battle tanks. It is fitted with an OTO Molara Hitfact turret, armed with a 120mm L45 smoothbore gun. This high-pressure gun is unrelated to rain metal 120mm gun used on most Western tanks. Though it is compatible with standard NATO 120mm tank ammunition. It is fitted with a very efficient muzzle brake, which significantly reduces the recoil. The gun is fed by a new automatic loading system. Ammunition is stored in isolated compartments. It is worth noting that a 120mm gun was mounted on the original Centauro before, Centauro with a 120mm gun. Depending on customer requirements, the Centauro II can be fitted with a smaller 105mm L52 gun. Around 40 rounds are carried by the vehicle. 12 of them are stored in the turret and are ready to use. Other are stored in the manual rack. This fire support vehicle uses APFSDS, multi-roll, and other munitions. The 120mm APFSDS round penetrates 600mm of rolled homogeneous steel armor at a range of 3000m. This new fire support vehicle has got a modern fire control system and the latest generation optics. It has a hunter-killer engagement capability. The commander uses a panoramic sight to search for targets. Once the target is selected the gun is laid on the target automatically and the gunner completes AL the aiming and firing process. During that time commander looks for the next target. Such hunter-killer engagement method is present on all modern main battle tanks. It allows to acquire and engage targets faster. It seems that this fire support vehicle can engage a target within 30 seconds after spotting it. The Centauro II can successfully engage main battle tanks and other armored vehicles. However its level of protection is way lower than that of main battle tanks. Vehicles of this class usually do not engage main battle tanks head-on. There is also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun with 750 rounds of ammunition and remotely controlled weapon station armed with a 12.7mm machine gun, 400 rounds. Alternatively, the remotely controlled weapon station can be armed with a 7.62mm machine gun, 1000 rounds, or 40mm automatic grenade launcher, 96 rounds. This fire support vehicle has a welded steel armor hull and aluminum armor turret. In standard configuration front arc is protected against 20mm rounds and all round protection is against 12.7mm rounds and artillery shell fragments. However the Centauro II can be fitted with composite add-on armor and even explosive reactive armor for a much higher level of protection. With add-on armor its front arc provides protection against 40mm armor piercing rounds, while all-round protection is against 14.5mm rounds. 
Interior is lined with Kevlar liner, which prevents spalling. The chassis has further improved protection against mines and IEDs. Crew are seated on anti-mine seats. The Centauro 2 is fitted with jamming system, which blocks the signals of radio-controlled IEDs. This combat vehicle is fitted with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. It also has a laser warning receiver, which can be set to trigger smoke grenade dischargers. The Centauro 2 is operated by a crew of four, including commander, gunner, driver and loader. The loader transfers ammunition form stowage compartment to the autoloader and loads the main gun manually in case the autoloader fails. The Centauro 2 uses a highly mobile 8x8 chassis. Comparing with the original Centauro, it is fitted with new engine, improved transmission, braking system and control electronics. This new fire support vehicle is powered by Iveco Vector 8V turbocharged diesel engine, developing 720 horsepower engine is located at the front. It is mated to an automatic transmission with 7 forward and 1 reverse gears. Steering is provided on the first and second axles and at slow speed with also the fourth axle. Vehicle is equipped with run-flat tires and fitted with central tire inflation system, which improves cross-country mobility. The Centauro 2 is not amphibious.